In the previous video, we created a data factory. Now, in this video, we are going to use that data factory to load a file which is on prem on this machine and load it into the SQL data warehouse which was created in the videos earlier. So, let's see how to do that. This is the data file customer.csv and this is how it looks. There are two records, three and four. It's located under C drive data files and we created a customer table and it has two records which we kind of inserted manually here. Now I'm going to create a data pipeline in the data factory to load the data from on-prem to the cloud. So when you come to the data factory area, you would see author and deploy, copy data, monitor and usage, metrics, diagrams, and sample pipelines. So I'm going to click on copy data. So you have the name of the task. It's a default name. You can change the name here. You can run once or run it on a schedule. Monthly, weekly, hourly, daily. So for now, I'm going to run it once. Now this is the source and here for the source, I'm going to use the file system. Please remember that the file is in my local drive. Click on next. This is the source file. You can change the name. This is just a connection name. Here I can say source file CSV. This would be the folder name. So the folder name is C data files. Please note that I am not giving the name of a file but just the location the parent directory of the file. In the credentials encryption, you have by web browser and by credentials man manager. So I'm going to use by web browser, but if you are using an IE or an edge browser, you can use credential manager. For Google Chrome, which I'm using, credential manager would require a small extension on Chrome, and that's why I don't want to do it. And that is why I'm going to use web browser. This username and password is basically going to be the, the computer name or the server name on which the source file resides. And the user ID and password which has access to that file. This is the user ID and password which is having access to that file. I'm going to click on next. So please remember that you have to create a gateway in here. If you have not done that, a gateway is something which is going to install a Microsoft data management gateway configuration manager. This is the gateway which I have installed when you click on that create gateway link and make sure that it's it's a plugin which is going to be on your local or the server on from which you want to connect on prem so just making to just wanted to make sure that you have it this is the gateway connection so once you have the file given this is the browse option of the file and folder please remember there are two files customer.csv and customer.xlx I'm going to select customer.csv and click on choose. Click on next. So if you look at it, there are two records in this file. And this is the file settings, the so source file. It can accept text, Avro, JSON, ORC, Parquet. In row delimiter, you can set all these settings even for the advanced. But for now, I'm going to keep it to the default. Do next. 
it's going to ask me now the destination connection and my target is SQL Server Data Warehouse so in the destination you can change the name again you have to use your subscription my project username and password to connect to the SQL Server and click on next so it's now asking you to map the table file remember we had this table stage customer there you go stage customer having two records click on next and it's going to give you the list of columns and if you want to map it you want to include it or not so on and so forth it's just a basic copy click on next it tells you what happens when there is an error do you want to abort the next set of records or you want to skip whatever is about aborted or skip and log incompatible records or rows so for now I'm just doing abort if there is something not working just abort it now the second question it will ask is the staging account what it does is it uses a to achieve faster performance using polybase so I do not want to use any performance thing because I'm just loading two records I'm gonna select none and in the advanced settings I'm gonna uncheck this allow polybase and this is the parallelism it can achieve the degree of parallelism it, I don't need it for two records so I'm just gonna set it the default and say next the next screen gives you a summary of what you have set and if you are satisfied with your selection click on next and it's now going to validate the runtime environment make the connection and then create pipelines and start loading the data so it's going to take some time because you're doing it for the first time uh, so please be patient once done you can see here that a pipeline is created and this is still running it's kind of creating its stuff but let's see the records in the database if they are available I'm gonna run the same query and you can now see four records uh, two which were earlier available and now third and fourth record is which is populated because we ran that pipeline so this is a very simple thing wherein we kind of went in and got the data from the Excel or a CSV file format and then we were able to load it now looking back back at the pipeline if you scroll on to the right you can click on author and deploy and you would see now some link services these are the source and the destination which we created this is the pipeline and this is the gateway which this is the gateway which you have to create and I showed you earlier the gateway WCI manager now if you click on diagram it's going to show you the diagram on uh, there should be the pipeline I think the pipeline is still running now it's completed let me refresh it you can see that the pipeline is in the JSON format the, the row value the key value pair and you can see the source file customer file and stuff like that so in the next set of sessions we're going to talk about more in detail about these data factory and how you can kind of do all the ETL functionalities like update incremental load s slowly changing dimension type 1 type 2 type 3 and so on and so forth thank you for watching